Hello, welcome to A Push Simplified. Today we're looking at one of the greatest convention speeches of all time, and when then State Senator Barack Obama burst onto the national scene. Before getting into the key details of the speech, let's talk about the context. In 2004, the nation was divided over the war in Iraq. Many felt the Bush administration made a mistake in invading Iraq. There was also an ongoing war in Afghanistan, and up to that point, the U.S. had failed in finding the mastermind behind 9-11 terrorist attacks, Osama bin Laden. There was also still a lot of fear about terrorism in general. Bush was still very popular amongst Republicans in his own party. However, he lost popularity overall that he immediately had following the 9-11 attacks, as many were upset with various Bush administration policies. Also, the economy had suffered a short recession. It had bounced back, but was still fairly weak. The Democratic National Convention was held in Boston, Massachusetts, and would nominate John Kerry as their presidential nominee. However, it would be newcomer Barack Obama that would steal the show with a spectacular speech. Then, Senator Obama was still fairly unknown to the American people. He was a former law student and professor. Obama had also recently started getting involved in politics as a community organizer in Chicago, and then elected to the State Senate of Illinois and at the time of the speech was making a run for national office for the open Illinois Senate seat. So now turning to the speech, of which you can watch or read in its entirety below, but here are the key details. Obama tells his own story and relates it to the United States being the land of hopes and dreams, and many people like his father come to the United States hoping to be successful and create a future for their kids. He is making connections to the foundations of the United States, specifically the Declaration of Independence, and its core beliefs of life, liberty, and, and the pursuit of happiness. Obama then talks about how the government is not perfect, and people should not expect it to fix all their problems. However, the government can help make everyone's life better. Also, we as Americans should focus on protecting basic rights so everyone can enjoy the same opportunity to succeed. And everyone, whether you're a Republican or Democrat, black or white, living in a city or rural area, should want to continue to protect the American dream. Looking briefly at Obama's intentions, he has the point of view of someone with an academic background and a rising political star. Obama feels he has lived the American dream. He is intending to introduce himself to the Democratic caucus and American people with a very uniting message during a time of division over the course of the country. Next, on to who agrees and disagrees with Obama's speech. In general, the speech is highly regarded by political TV pundits and newspapers. Many thought Obama stole the show at the DNC, and TV pundit Chris Matthews said, quote, I have to tell you, a little chill on my legs right now. That is an amazing moment in history right there. It is surely an amazing moment. A keynoter like I have never heard. End quote. Even political opponents had few negative things to say about the centrist and overwhelmingly positive tone of the speech. However, Pat Buchanan felt Obama was not being honest. Quote, he is hiding what he truly believes. What does Obama believe about this war? End quote. Now finally, the legacy of the speech. Obama makes key connections to the Declaration of Independence and the American Dream, and he was able to recapture the narrative of the American Dream for Democrats, which had been more of a Republican talking point since the days of Reagan. This speech helps propel Obama to winning the open Illinois Senate seat, and Obama will stay in the spotlight the following years, leading to a successful and historic 2008 presidential run, defeating early favorite Hillary Clinton in the primary and longtime Senator John McCain in the general election. If you'd like to watch or read the speech for yourself, I put the links in the video notes below. 